So here are the basic test examples for target 12. The first one is using synthetic division. And this can be done with synthetic division because our divisor is x plus a number or x minus a number as a binomial like that. And when you're using synthetic division, you're going to put the value that would make this divisor equal to 0. So if you solve that for x, you'd subtract 3 from both sides. So then inside, we're going to put the coefficients. And then we're going to bring down, multiply the 4 by the negative 3, put it there, and add. And then we're going to repeat. We're going to take negative, 7, or negative 16 times 3. We're going to get 48, and we're going to add. And we get 50, which means when we divide these two, we get a remainder of 50. So negative 3 is not a 0. When you put negative 3 into this equation, you get 50, not 0. So if we were to divide by the factor x plus 3, we would get... These are our coefficients. It starts on the right with the constant term of negative 16. And then we work our way up. This is the coefficient for the x term. So we have 4x minus 16 is the quotient plus our remainder over the divisor. And that's how we write our full answer. Now for the second one, I've told you you can't use synthetic division for this. You actually can, but I specified here to use long division, and you do need to know long division. So make sure you have the work for this one with long division. So I'm putting the dividend underneath the division bar here, and the divisor, 4x or 4k plus 5, goes outside. And then we're just going to go through our steps, divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, and repeat. So when I divide, I take the first terms in each. 8k cubed divided by 4k is, oops, I don't put it there, is 2k squared. So I put that above the k squared term. Then I multiply that 2k squared. By the divisor, 4k plus 5, remembering to distribute. So 2k squared times 4k is 8k cubed. 2k squared times 5 is 10k squared. When you do this, the first term should be the same because the idea then when we go to subtract is that first term is going to cancel. And then we're taking negative 2 minus a 10. Or if you'd prefer, you could distribute the negative. Negative 2 plus a negative 10 is negative 12k squared. Then we bring down, and we repeat. So now I'm going to divide negative 12k squared divided by 4k. And I'm going to get negative 3k. And then I multiply that. So I multiply that to both of these. And then I subtract that whole polynomial from the one above it. So if I distribute the negative, it's going to be plus a positive and a positive. So negative 12 and 12 is 0. That should always happen. Negative 27 plus 15 is a negative 12. Then I bring down, and I'm going to repeat one more time. Negative 12k divided by 4k is negative 3. I multiply that to this binomial. So I get negative 12k minus 15. And then I subtract. And I get a remainder of 0. So what this tells me is that 4k plus 5 is a factor because this is my answer with no remainder. Now, this particular one, the divisor is not in x plus a number or x minus a number form. 